So this guy should be left justification, this guy should be right justification. Okay. And then collection view. Bring that up here. And then table view. And then tell table view cell. This guy has uh, image views. So bring that image view here. Cell. I'm gonna make this a little bigger. Okay, and image views. All right. And then label. Yeah, I'm gonna put this label here. Then center, smaller, and color, gray. Okay, here I want to put Uh, for that, I need to display a uh, little detailed data. Yeah, so user ID and, and then uh, sensor type and model and sensor data. So like here, we can say that is a sensor. Simply say sensor. And then another label. And copy and paste. can say this model and then label and then we need to oops we can say value what data and this is real data. Data may be wrong. Okay. Now we can say, I think I, we don't need this. And from this cell, Cell. Get this and view. This guy is segue to image and sensor. 
Okay. Of course, we need to have uh, uh, the file, Swift file that uh, sits behind these uh, views, right? So, file to be created. And we call it um, sensors images together VC. Then that is UI kit, and then class is sensor images together VC, which is UI view controllers uh, subclass, by the way. And then view did load should be created. And you need to bring the support users. So basically, these are small things. Uh, we need to bring this down. Okay. Let's try to see. Yeah, I'll go to next and come back and come back. Very nice. Okay. So this this is newly uh, created view. So we didn't connect this view to uh, the behind uh, Swift code, Swift code that we uh, just created, right? Swift code is a sensor image together VC. So come back here. Sensor image VC together, right? So that goes with this. Okay. And make this and bring up that code. Now we need to connect, right? Uh, last time when we made the Last time, last time when we made uh, this cell, we defined this cell inside this table uh, entire uh, the Swift code. Uh, right now, here in this case, we can uh, uh, because we have a, a collection view and collection view cell, and table view and table view cell. Um, we could put all together in one uh, file, but this will become so big. So I wanna make it separately. We could do that too. So separately we uh, create file and then we say collection view cell there's a collection view cell. UI kit and then class is CV cell, which is a subset of uh, UI collection view cell. All right. That is uh, this. CV cell. Oh, nice. oh, this is what I want to 
use but we don't need this so delete that remove it to trash we want to make another file which is table view cell so table view cell So there's a table view cell. UI kit, similarly, class TV cell, which is UI table view cell. Table view cell. Okay. here this this is a, a collection view cell a collection view inside the, there is a collection view cell the class we can say here CV cell it's very intelligent right this what I already know that and come back here this is a table view cell class for that is here is a TV cell uppercase TV cell because it's a lowercase TV cell that we already defined here watch this yeah small TV cell it's a little bit confused but still okay this is a lowercase TV cell and this is uppercase TV cell this is separately defined so this guy it's, should know but we do not know actually they really need I mean, to know right like this and we bring up here this I want to see if this guy can go no, cannot go yet. So rather than wait, uh, we want to close this and come back. And I want to find where that file is. A CV cell, right? Like this. So images, this first image go here. Oh, can go. So we call that image view. Uh, and no, image view. Sensors, image view sensors, and then inside we have label. If this is too small, you can uh, bring that here. So this is a label, label file name, right? Okay, those two are to find. Same thing if you can bring TV cell, then you can also drag and drop. Very nice. 
and this is a sensor ID, ID uh, the label sensor that's a variable and next one is here label model and finally here data right label data okay very nice and then we bring up that uh, entire this so we need to drag and drop this thing here so that is table view sensor sensors table view sensors and here there is a collection view sensors collection view CV sensors okay I think we are pretty much uh, okay Ooh. one more thing here last name and first name right so we need to have here this guy goes here, label, first name, and this guy, label, last name. So what we want to do here, uh, when we click one of this, then uh, last name and first name pass that two values, pass to next view. So that should appear here. Okay, so uh, in order to receive here, then you need, we need to uh, set the variable, say, name equals this is a simply uh, last name and variable first equals first name we can define this and then when these two values passed from the uh, previous uh, view controller then we need to populate here self dot lb first name dot text into it we put our uh, first and then self lb last name dot text into I think name goes into it Okay. And here, so from this code, um, we have to do uh, one more thing. Uh, right now, uh, this guy didn't do anything. Uh, so what we need to do is, if something is clicked then then we need to uh send it to 
uh, next uh, view controller. So from this code to that code. Okay. To do that, uh, to sending out, there are two ways that you can send out. You can do here uh, table view where there is a um, uh, another function called uh, uh, I believe it is called uh, uh, did select row at. We could do that, or we, we can simply uh, use uh, prepare. Okay, so funk and prepare. Then there is a prepare uh, for sender. So we, I simply hit because this this method is what we want. So I hit enter. In the code side, uh, we need to say if we use a segue. If segue uh, that identifier is the same as uh, what is the segue right now? So I'm going to put here. Yeah, this segue. What is the idea of this segue? This is a segue. So we need to put uh, here. Oops. This guy. I want to copy and paste. So put here, copy and paste. If that, then we can do, we can let the destination, destination is segue dot destination as what is the name of the, uh, the other? That is called uh, sensors image together VC. Okay. Once we have that, then we use the test nation and then um, we need to look at this code. There's a name and first, right? So into put here, then there's a name. Into that name, uh, we need to get the self and MySQL result. And then I want to I want to close this. Okay. Here Basically we need to put uh because this is uh, uh the list of uh the dictionary, right? So we need to get a uh, which uh, row that we want to send out and which data that we want to send out data here that is a uh, simple right that is uh, uh, use ID which row that we want to send out here in this case we need to do TV list users dot index Path for selection row. That row. So if that particular row is selected, then we want to send it to. Basically, that is what we want to do. If there is an error, then we need to see what it is. To do this, one of the here.
looks good, right? We need to copy this and redo here for our first name. Rather than this, we need to do first. And here, rather than user ID, we need to have F name. Okay, let's try. So open. If we click, yeah, Kevin Adam, and if we click this and Ryan uh, Gardner. So from here to next, uh, it is very nicely communicating. So, so it goes. Come here, right? First name and last name that is uh, entered. So basically here, what we need to do is we need to call, yeah, first thing, thing that we need to do, we need to do UI collection view delegates, which is this one. And then UI collection view data source. We need to download, we need to inherit uh, from this uh, super class because we use a collection view. So we need to one by one. We need to handle collection view first. And then table view. Table view we already did uh, once, right? So it would be, uh, would be much uh, easier if we do that. So we can define two functions. Those two functions are required. So we'll do that uh, here. Oops. Basically here, that is nothing but return Oh, we need to do my SQL, right? Uh, my for this, we need to do variable my SQL result equals string colon string and then initialize. So we want to use that here. Self my SQL result dot count. Nice. And for this, in order to populate this, then we need to download uh, for example. We need to do here. Copy and paste here. Okay. So we need to basically uh, Do here self uh, download JSON, right? So here we put the request, and we don't need to do all of this. And then simply put here self. Uh, CV sensors, self CV, self CV sensors dot reload. But in order to do this request, we need to set the request, right? Here we put the sensors, I mean the images. So 
guard let URL equals URL. We want to get this string. Into that string, we want to have. Uh, in this case, we need to send uh, last name and bring that. Uh, for example, like this, we need to send. Uh, It's a last name and first name. I think uh, yeah, this, this. This is what we want, right? This is what we want. So oops. here. We need to do this. Okay. Else return. And then we need to define a uh, request. Request is but nothing but URL request, and then URL and URL. We have you. This URL is is a, a, when we call this. It's a color uh, type. Okay, and then. Post data equals we need to put ID equal and then last name in this case name only right and then request dot HTTP method it's nothing but post and then request uh, I think uh, this HTTP body, HTTP body equals post data. Post data is, is this ID and, and those things, right? using string dot encoding dot utf8 so request is defined here and it will attach uh, the method and will attach body and this request is is a URL request it has on already this URL that goes to uh, this download JSON. So uh, if it is done, then then we need to do self uh, uh, CSS sensor dot data source equals self. Data source delegates that also sell. I'm not sure do we do we need to self and self here. We don't need it, right? Okay. Then here we need to now populate, right? How can you do pop populate? Then we need to do here let cv cell equals uh, cv sensors and then dq reusable cell and with ID and that, right? So that ID here 
um, then uh, I think we didn't uh, set the ID yet. So come back here. Right. Uh, class is uh, this and cell ID we didn't make it yet right so let's say that is a CV CV uh, cell similarly here there is TV cell ID class is that ID here we say TV CLL <clears throat> not full name cell but CLL back here we call it CV CLL that is the ID for that and uh, path is index path Finally, this guy says the UI collection view cell needs to be returned, which is we need to say return and then CV. Oh, I don't I want to change this to CV. Or well, simply yeah, CLL. CCLL. CCL. Yeah, simply like to. I don't make it confused. This is CVCL. So CCL, CCL. This is uh, this is nothing but UI collection view cell ID. Uh, US collection view cell through this uh, ID identification. Then we, if we do CCLL. Then we know. Oh, I think one thing it doesn't recognize it. So we need to do S. And that is what is the file name? File name is a CV cell, right? So we need to say here CV cell. In that case, CCLL dot, then this guy knows um, I think that is IV sensor this this image view sensor this is a label file name these two things right so into this uh, yeah we need to because this this guy is is image image view yeah, image view so when I do this remember that we have a downloaded this so we can call from this downloaded and then we need to set up URL right um, that's what we had here view controller already right somewhere here yeah once we have that then we this this is uh, URL string and this yeah something like this so so keep that in mind so we'll do here 
um, this guy already sent the, the request to this. So uh, at this point, we already have a list of images uh, that's available, right? Uh, for this particular uh, name. What that means is that if then I have this, right? If I have this, then I can have a file name, right? So from this file name, then we need to send to that. So first I need to do, I believe, uh, uh, file name. So I need to define file name. Let's say field name equals self MySQL result. There, uh, that is uh, uh, this index path, that particular uh, we need to list multiple uh, the multiple I mean collection of multiple images right so one by one according to index so we to the index path row what we want to get there is it's not uh, username not pass not uh, first name but the file name right so file name is uh, from there, file name is actually file name, so we need to put file name. Like here, file name, so we can get that from there. So with that file name, then we need to have a variable. basic uh, URL that into that variable we need to put uh, URL which URL that we want to get um, yeah that is from a particular remember the location here yeah from this location basic URL so we need to get that same as that one so so we need to put that here. So variable URL string, you, you simply put here basic, basic URL plus file name right file name then it can be I don't know put this and also uh, CCLL has uh, LB file names into the file name to text because I already had this file name so field name into it so let's try to run open and when I do for example John you yeah, I have a list of those, right? But I need to have a little bigger than that. So what we need to do back here, this cell Lip, uh, yeah, here. Minimum 
some spacing for that and sector separate ten ten. Petal size, photo size, the cell size. I think uh, that much and see what happens. We can adjust to that. Hmm, still not. So we need to back here. Okay, this estimate size here, we need to say here custom. Yeah, custom and, and we need to change this to say 120 and 120. 143 is okay, but let's say 100, 140. 140 and 140. Let's see what happens. This doesn't show up because this is too big. Let's see. Let's put this one hundred twenty. Cell size a little bit maybe one hundred twenty-five. One hundred twenty-five. Let's say this is also light and light. Oh, this is not. Let's see. Correction sensor. Oh, it's a vertical. So we need to change this to horizontal. I thought I changed it, but it's not changed. So, for example, only one appears. Very nice. But I need um, more space here. So, Sensor. I think cell size one hundred thirty-five. Height one hundred forty. Yeah.
while I didn't come out. I think uh, force didn't change. Why? With the height one forty five. But it's not changed, it's not sized. Or should I? One hundred forty. This is forty forty six. With the forty forty three. So it should be bigger than this. One hundred forty five. One hundred forty five. And why change it? Forty five. Height is still one hundred one hundred forty five. But anyway, it should be like that. Um, let's move further. What we need to do so uh, images uh, came up, right? Uh, now uh, so sensor data. Sensor data that should be Similar to the other, right? Sensor data here. Right. What we need to do here, we need to put uh, UI table view delegates and UI table view data source then of course uh, we need to define these two and that should be somewhere here and this should do return Oh, similarly, we need to define here variable my SQL result two that should be string string that's that is uh, this first uh, SQL result two has uh the sensor data and the next one has uh no the image data and and the sensor data so so back here my sql result count but if you want to make sure this is uh, the global then you need to do self Okay, and we need to, very similarly, we need to have uh, we have very similar to this all the way. So So we can do guard let URL two equals URL and string um, sensor data comes from 
sensor to cell data retrieve, which is I believe this, right? Through this, if we send the ID and name, then we can get that out. So here, we need to put that. So sensor to cell data retrieve. And then, else return and then uh, variable request request to two because we already have a request here so we need we want to make that uh, uh, differently um, so that type of that is a URL URL request request and then URL that is URL 2 and then the let post data 2 equals ID equal plus name plus we need to have one more and uh, file name plus first. That should be attached to the URL. So request to this part the same as that. So we simply put that and we change this to number two and number two and number two. Once we have that, then we can do self uh, uh, I think we need to do because we are uh, looking at download the JSON here um, this MySQL result should be differently right uh, we can make this is uh, in one uh, file what we can do is uh, let's make simply here I want to copy this and make one more and then I want to make this uh, download to and I, I want to make this two. So we need to update uh, MySQL result to two from this download JSON different uh, function. That's what we want to hear. So here uh, we need to do self that download JSON two. So in, in this case, request two, and then here's self and table view sensors dot reload. And then finally, table view sensors dot delegates equals self TV census dot data source equals self then we are ready to use this then we, we can now populate right so how can we uh, populate it we can populate in the similar way, say, uh, let t 
TV TVCL L equals table view table view dot uh, delegates the DQ DQ reusable cell with identifier identifier I believe we say this is uh, very similar to here we have uh, uh, CVCLL I think I believe that is uh, TVCLL right and this is the index path and whole thing as TV cell and then finally return we need to do TV CLL okay and now TV CLL dot uh, LB sensor into the sensor we need to do self dot mysql 2 and then we have index path dot row and then we need to so this is this is that record in that record we want to get a sensor which is S type D type so that is uh, S type so S type right similarly TV CLL dot LB model I think we need to do a text here I want to copy this to here, but this should be T type. Okay. Value also similar to this. So I want to copy this. Uh, rather than this, should be LB data. And all the way there, that should be send data. Send, send data. Then it'll be populated. Also, if you want to make it a little, uh, uh, change the height, then you need to do funk H E yeah that one and then you can put here 120 and see how it works let's see this Oh, here it should be equal. Equal sign. Oh, very nice. So, bottom here we have uh, uh, sensor data. I have four sensor data and uh, horizontally the images if we choose uh, others for example Justin his images sometimes comes a little later okay so many images and also many data <laughs> 